this isn't the time now to be panicking because if I do, I don't know where to run. Haunted's home for the day is this Lancastrian manor house, Smithills Hall. We do know that some of these rooms date as far back as 1335, but this is also a home that has since generated a whole host of tales that may well account for its modern day reports of paranormal activity. Derek's attention has been drawn away from two astral ladies to a man with an intense religious belief, and as we were about to discover, it was these same beliefs that forced him to an early grave. As I come here into this atmosphere, I feel as if I just want to escape from this room. Here, on that side, when I come to this section here, it's a reflection of spirit people sitting there. And it's like they're viewing and they're listening to everything that's going on. Then I get another person who seems to be hell-bent on uh, trying to get someone to submit. You will say what I want you to say. And there's this cruelty, and it's in this area and it's as if someone's got me and they've got me down and they're telling me what to say and to submit i get the name george his energies fired up so i will stand resolute they will not break me they have not got the strength of my will but they damaged they hurt and they truly try to break my spirit they will not that was what I was saying before, what that person was saying, of the clergy, of martyrdom, martyrdom. He would experience his resolute pact with his faith. Was he killed here? I don't feel that his um, life's blood was lost here. I, I just don't feel that. I feel as if maybe he was taken away. I'll say it. Thank you. Something that is stated about this good man. There's something here that that soul knows it's not so about him and it's something to do with lower region. Something down there does not belong to him. It's got no association with him. Right. It is a myth. So had we found an answer to Smithill's most fascinating account? No one truly knows if the tale of George Marsh's indignant footprint is indeed fact or fiction. But what is known is that this Protestant curate was taken to Chester, where he was unmercifully burnt at the stake. In a hall that appears extremely active on every level, we head to the crumbling east wing that was once a care home to elderly ladies. OK, right. Again, we come into this area. I don't know whether it's these windows here. Um, I'm guessing whether it's one of these two spirit ladies that have linked in this building or whether it's another separate spirit lady, but it seems as if drawn to these windows as if I'm, you know, just taking the place of the spirit person and just looking through. I wouldn't be at all surprised whether that spirit lady right. has been seen through the windows, right. you know, quite clearly. Um, Who would she have been then? Um, I don't feel those two that we've got on the lower level. I'm getting a light-haired young lady, most definitely in service, or she was made, or she certainly wasn't of, like, high position. Okay. Uh, she's not found her peace, she's not found her calm, uh, because maybe the manner in which she lost her life. Mm -hmm. And when would person. that happen, do you think? You know, I'm coming forward with this young lady to about 1800 and something. Right. Yeah. person with a, a vivacious sort of personality, laughing, joking, um, a good soul. But when she came out of her physical body and she realised she was of the ethereal body, that personality changed a bit. And she, when she comes round and what have you, she could be probably heard, you know, screaming or shouting with anger. Nice. Right. Only beyond be simply because the reality she didn't have to fall It's a shame, life. isn't it? What's yeah. her name? Even? Rose. Rose. Fletcher. Oh, right, that's great. Rosemary Ann Fletcher. Fletcher. Well, 1884. Right, 1884. There was something radically wrong 
in the front part of her body here. Is that what you think she died from? Yeah. And she's active in this particular area? I feel she moves about right. in this top area here, yeah. OK. OK. Throughout Derek's reading, we were also constantly checking the green room for Kieran's trigger object test. These glasses are often thought to move without the aid of human hands. So far, his motion detector remained silent. We were, though, now very keen to see what else lay hidden here, and no sooner had David Wells entered the building than another recent and residual spectre came storming into his consciousness. This feels... It's kind of like all this part. There's one male. There's a religious feel as well about this whole area. But he's running up and down as if he's on fire. What was he... Burned, involved in a fire. It, the actual individual I'm seeing is presenting initially on fire, so his body is on fire, so I suggest right. that he was burnt for witchcraft or... Do, do you know what I mean? He was yes. burnt because of his faith. Right. He was burnt because of his beliefs. Right. When this happened to him, when he was burned for his beliefs, how old would you say he would have passed over? Maybe late 30s, early 40s, so he doesn't seem particularly old. I know, I'm going to ask you for a name. So I'm going to go for George, because okay. okay. we get George's. Okay. And he's got quite a, an obvious nose. It's like a button nose. You know, it's like quite big but with a bulbous bit on the end. Um, he's actually losing his hair for that age as well. Seems to be losing his hair. Um, he's not extremely tall. He's, he's probably about here. And he's not exactly fat, but he's not exactly thin. He's, he's kind of rounded. And is he, is he present here amongst us now that you're talking about him? Or? He's around, I would say he's more out here than he is in this particular room at the moment. But I think this room is, is significant to him because it's where he led me to. So, so it's it's significant. Significant. Absolutely. David's imagery of a man on fire and his fierce Protestant belief under Catholic rule is indeed significant in a room dedicated to George Marsh. And bearing this in mind, I was particularly interested to hear David's reading in the ancient chapel inside Smithills Hall, an area rife with the apparition of a ghostly congregation. So who's in here? I've got one figure at the altar trying to make up my mind whether he's a priest or a monk. So he's, he's right where this cross is. He's here, kneeling here. I feel as if, as I'm sitting here, I'm being watched. By him? I'm very conscious of a congregation behind me. I'm getting a feel for who he is, so I think he would have been... He would have led this congregation at some point. I think he definitely... He definitely... Um, either people see him coming down this central aisle, kneeling here, but I suspect they will see him as the as a classic dark shape. And when would he have been here, do you think? Seems about the same period, maybe slightly earlier, maybe 1500s even. But this site feels a place of devotion, but it doesn't feel specific. So it doesn't feel Catholic, it doesn't feel Protestant, it doesn't feel Wicca. It's even. quite interesting that you say that, because upstairs you were saying it was very Catholic, mm. yeah. that you've got mm. that feel, and yet we come room, down here, yeah. and there isn't a strong indication of which religion it is. That's true, but right on this spot I feel very... Non secular, I feel very at peace here. Are you aware of any spirit being in here? I know you say you saw this man kneeling in your mind's eye, yeah. but is there anybody here spiritually now that's active? As I look out into the congregation area, um, I'm very aware of one woman here, again from that, that time period, 16th, 17th century, very elaborate, elaborately dressed. I'm very aware of in that seat there, just here. Mm -hmm. I think it's this guy here, and that he shifted, so he may have the moved. priest or the yeah. monk, right? The priest or the monk there. They seem to be the two dominant ones, but there is there is another th something in here. This one is a skeleton. And where are you seeing it? Just over about one, two, three, four pews back. It would describe to me, I think, someone who's recently passed. The recent right. thing, you know. Can I just get the specific location? 